This will be my recap video of the fourth stop of the BFL Mountain Division on Lake Cumberland, which was on May 8th, 2021. I'll go ahead and play the weigh-in video so y'all can see how it went. Dakota Bishop's next up. He's out of Mount Vernon, Kentucky. Third in the points race on the co-inter side. Good job this year, Dakota. Two bass today. Three, five is what they weigh. Three pounds, five ounce. I only ended up catching two keepers throughout the day on Cumberland. It was kind of disappointing. I was only about one fish away from getting another check, but that's just how it goes sometimes. I ended up in 44th place out of like over 150 boats, and it only dropped me one spot in the points. So uh, I fell to fourth place. Um, there were three key baits that did good for me throughout the day. It was a mainly a post-spawn tournament. Mo there was a few fish on beds. My boater did catch one bed fish. But most of the fish were kind of cruising around and just in a real funk because they just got done spawning. We've seen several nice fish like up on the banks and you could about throw a bait at them and hit them in the back and they just wouldn't give it any attention at all. They were just in a real weird like mood. But uh, the three baits that caught me my fish throughout the day was a wacky worm, uh, a little shaky head, and a jerk bait. I started out the morning throwing the wacky worm and I caught a couple largemouth that were like really close to keep and they were like 14 and a half inches and that would have helped me out a lot, but that's just how it goes. And uh, the little shaky head is what I caught most of my fish on throughout the day. I was actually throwing a little four inch Gary Yamamoto Cinco on just like a little eighth ounce ball head. And uh, we were fishing like a lot of bushes and trees in the water and my boater was throwing a wacky rig. So I kind of switched it up and fished that since it was kind of targeting like a different water column. And uh, I caught a lot of fish behind him actually. And I ended up catching like a really nice smallmouth. But on Cumberland, they have to be 18 inches to keep. So unfortunately I had to toss it back. And I caught several other largemouth that were like 14 inches, like pretty close to keeping, just uh, no keepers on the shaky head. Actually, I caught one of my keeper spotted bass on the shaky head, uh, my small spotted bass. It was just like a 13 inch spot. So that's how I caught my first keeper off of like the end of a lay down. And uh, it got me a lot of bites though. But what I really figured out, and it was kind of too late, and I wish I would have known about it earlier, was the jerk bait. Um, I was throwing a Mega Bass Vision 110 Junior, and I didn't figure that out until like the last hour and a half of the tournament. And the only reason I figured it out is because my boater started fishing some bluff walls, and I really didn't have anywhere to cast. So I tied on that jerk bait so that I could just kind of throw it out the back of the boat and just kind of jerk it behind the boat as he was like going up the bank because that's about all I could do. And I started wearing the fish out and it was pretty amazing. Like the last hour and a half, I probably caught at least 10 fish literally casting out the back of the boat and like jerking this jerk bait just like behind the boat. And uh, I caught a small mouth that was really close to keeping. It was like a 17 incher, which was also very disappointing. And uh, I ended up catching a spot of bass. It was like two and a half pounds. It was like a really, really big spot. And, uh, but all the rest of the fish that I caught weren't keepers, unfortunately. And uh, that was kind of the pattern throughout the day. It was just a lot of small fish. The big fish were just hard to come by. And it showed at the weigh-in, because I mean, there weren't a whole lot of fish weighed in and uh, it didn't take much to win the tournament at all on the boater side or the co-angler side. So overall, uh, stop number four at Cumberland was tough but uh we managed to pull through and we only fell one spot in the points and uh, at this time we're only like 20 points behind the the point leader so next up is cherokee lake in june so hopefully we can get down to cherokee and have a good tournament so that uh we can make up some points but thank you all for watching and i'll catch you at the next one